What's going on folks? Today we're out in the field and I wanted to take a moment to talk about guys who are dove hunting and just aren't connecting with birds. Now let me first clarify what I'm talking about. I'm talking to guys who generally know how to shoot their shotgun, generally know what they're doing with their weapon. If you don't know how to shoot a shotgun, that's obviously your problem, learn how to shoot. I'm also talking about guys who generally are in a spot with birds. Likewise, if you're in a spot that has no birds, that's obviously your problem. You need to be in a spot with birds, just like you're not going to catch any fish in a lake with no fish. So, talking to guys who are in a spot that's got birds, they generally know how to shoot, but just for some reason they're not connecting. These are just a couple things that, from my experiences, are just really common reasons why guys are just not getting birds. For starters, get off your dang phone. I know sometimes you can get away with it when you're deer hunting, when you're sitting in a blind, you can be texting, you can be looking up the weather, looking up the news, whatever, you can get away with it. But when you're dove hunting, they're gonna blow right by you. And so I've seen so many times where guys are just, even for a minute, just picking up their phone, looking at it, and dove flies right over their head. So put away your phone, because you're not gonna see them when you're looking at your phone. You're definitely not gonna see them in time to get a shot. Next, I would say use a mojo decoy. Uh, I've bought a lot of mojos. I've used the wind-powered ones. I prefer the electric ones. I know the wind-powered ones are way cheaper, and so it's tempting to save the money, but I would rather have one electric one than five wind-powered doves. So use a mojo decoy, and I would say set that decoy up appropriately. Set it up in a place where doves are flying, but make sure to set the decoy within range of you. Generally, I look at my shotgun range, I set the decoy at about half of my range. So that way if they fly on the far side of the decoy, they're at the edge of my range. If they fly on the inside of my decoy, they're entirely within range. The reason I say make sure the decoy itself is within range, because I've seen many times where they fly straight at it. Now, a mojo decoy or any decoy doesn't bring in birds that aren't there. It's not some magical dove magnet that just makes them appear. What it does is it gives them something to focus on while you can take a shot. It also helps you take closer shots rather than longer shots because the doves, you can start to control their pattern a little bit better. And that brings me to point number three. Pick your shots a little bit better. Uh, a reason I see a lot of guys missing is because they're, they're picking their shots poorly. And these are guys who generally know how to shoot well, but then they get in the field and kind of get things mixed up. So I see guys who a dove flies over them and then they're watching the dove and then they take a really long shot that's a very low percentage shot. Now, sometimes, you know, you either take the shot or you don't. And of course you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. But for me, a lot of times I'll see a bird at 50 yards, you know, flying side to side and I won't take the shot because I know it's a very low percentage shot. But if I see a bird coming straight at me, even if he's really high, I'm almost always going to empty my gun on it just because, you know, that angle is very easy, <clears throat> very easy to predict. So pick your shots carefully. Uh, pick the shots that you feel most confident about and, and take them. A lot of the shots that are more questionable shots or longer range shots, a lot of times you're just chasing that bird off. Another common reason I see people miss in the field is simply because they're aiming too much with their shotgun. Now a shotgun, you swing it, you point it, you don't aim it. Now I see a lot of guys who start to get a feel for this when they're practicing on clays, but then they see a bird and they get all excited and they start aiming right at it. So do not aim your shotgun, and generally just the more you're focusing on aiming your shotgun, you're almost always gonna be behind the bird just because you're, you're focusing on your point of aim, you're not focusing on the bird. So look at the bird, swing your shotgun, don't aim it. And I see a lot of guys who even, they see a bird coming and so they take time to get all ready, and that slows them down because that's not how they practice. That, that's not the swing they practice. So wait till that bird's within range, wait till you're ready to shoot, and then follow through with a normal swing. Now I like to use a fiber optic sight on my shotgun, and for a lot of people that makes it even more tempting to aim. But the reason I use this is because it just gives me a good reference of where the shotgun is. My eye is focused on the bird, not on the shotgun bead. So that's why I like a bright shotgun bead because I, I have to focus even less on the shotgun but that just serves as a reference, almost in my peripheral vision, just as to where the shotgun is. So don't aim your shotgun. Another reason that I would say guys tend to miss out when the birds are flying around them and they're on a good property, but they're just not connecting, is failure to adapt. So if you see birds flying in a certain pattern, adjust, move yourself. Get in a position according to how the birds are flying. Even if you know a property really well and you know, oh, 
you know, the wind's coming from the east, the birds tend to always fly this way. Watch them. If they're doing something different, move. Get in a new position. That's one thing that I love about dove hunting is you actually have freedom to move around, to adjust. You don't have to be super quiet. If you see birds doing something different, adapt. This seems like a really basic, obvious one, but concealment. I think a lot of guys fail to stay concealed when a dove's approaching and then, you know, the dove will be coming right at them and then flare off and start flying erratically. And it's always hard to shoot a dove that's flying crazy or that's really far away. So conceal yourself. You don't have to have the best camo pattern. There's no right or wrong camo pattern. Heck, I don't even wear camo pants. A lot of times I'll wear a camo top, I'll wear a camo hat, and most importantly, I'll sit in the shade. If I'm sitting right out in the sun, when I bring that gun up, there's gonna be a shiny reflection of that gun and they're gonna see it. So conceal yourself. It's not fancy, just sit in the shade, sit in a place where, where you can see them before they can see you. And I think a lot of guys know this, but then they just get comfy in a certain spot and they, and they stop thinking about it. This one's on a slightly different note, but I, I personally have experienced shooting birds and either wounding them or killing them and not finding them. And that's really frustrating because as a hunter, you know, if I'm gonna kill an animal, I wanna be able to collect it, I wanna be able to harvest it. And I know a lot of guys, they go out hunting and you know, they barely hit a whole lot of them, but they never find anything and that's really frustrating. So I would say when you hit a bird, watch it fall all the way to the ground. Pick out some point, whether it's a little twig sticking up, a particular clump of dirt that looks different, a tree in the background and just look straight at that point and don't take your eyes off of it. Walk straight at that bird. You know, if you're gonna reload, do it blind. You know, do it without looking. If you can't do that, then just wait, it's okay. Just keep your eyes on that bird because it's so tempting when you see other birds flying around, <laughs> it's almost like the flinch mechanism that's, that's trained within you to, to go ahead and pull up on those other birds, but don't. Stay focused on that one bird on the ground Walk exactly in a straight line to that bird, sidestep as little as possible, and you'll have better success at finding that bird. That's something that I struggle with a lot, but it tends to help. Lastly, I would say field of view is also really important. This is almost the opposite of, of the guy who fails to get into cover. This is the guy who really wants to be hidden and you know tucks up under trees so far that he can't see the birds flying right over the top of him. So this is why I really like to use shade to my, to my advantage because if I can sit on the side of the tree opposite the sun, I can sit a little farther out from that tree and I'm still in the shade, I'm still in decent cover, but I'm not up under the tree. I can actually see what's going on. So make sure to position yourself so you can actually see birds coming because so often you'll see birds a long way away and you'll see that bird, okay, he's not coming in. That one, oh, here he comes, got him. And those are the birds that you're actually gonna connect with. The birds that just blow right by you, sometimes you get them, but you know, it's, it's when you get lucky or when you just rely on being really quick. It's not a very effective strategy. So have a good field of view wherever you're sitting and use things like shade rather than being completely stuck under like a solid tree. So a bunch of different points. I'm not an expert at shooting birds. I'm not an expert at shooting shotguns in general. This is just from my experience where I've seen guys mess up, where I've seen myself mess up. So hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully you can incorporate some of these strategies the next time you get out in the dove field. And good luck and happy hunting. Until next time, stay safe, be free, and never stop seeking adventure.